More than two years into the pandemic now, and health officials say there are still about 350 COVID deaths in the U.S. every single day. The CDC shows the number of people in the hospital with the virus has actually doubled since early May and now averages about 5,100. So a lot of concern right now about the new highly contagious strain of the virus, which is going around. Dr. Malika Marshall is here with us now. And, Doctor, public health officials are now saying that boosters are really, really important. Really, really important because there are a lot of people who still have not gotten yeah. all of their boosters and we're getting a lot of questions about it so for example Joan asked if a 76 year old who was fully vaccinated with one booster shot got COVID when should she get a second booster I understand that having COVID sort of functions to boost one's immunity but I'm unclear on how long that immunity lasts well Joan it is true that when you get COVID you get a temporary boost in your immunity to the virus but that immunity benefit probably doesn't last very long, perhaps only a few weeks. Now, some people who were infected with the Omicron variant early on are getting infected again with the more recent subvariants, which have additional mutations in the spike protein and can evade immunity more efficiently than prior versions. The public health officials are now urging everyone over the age of 50 who's not received a booster in 2022 to get one now even if you've recently had COVID. We hope to have a newly formulated vaccine this fall, but getting a booster now should not preclude you from being able to get one of those newfangled boosters uh, later this year. Yeah, I think the people who had it and maybe didn't have a rough case of it think, okay, well, I don't need it now, but you're saying they certainly do. Still